late report. Well, Washington Senator Slade Gorton says he will seek a fourth term in two years when he'll be 72 years old. In making the announcement, Gorton said, I'm running for two reasons. First, I want to prove that old age should not be an obstacle to becoming an effective senator. Secondly, I want to prove that old age should not be an obstacle to being an effective senator. Five of Harborview's top doctors are protesting the nomination of a naturopathic doctor to their board. Other board members were thrilled that they now have an in-house mushroom connection. <laughs> King County and the Seattle Mariners settled a, a dispute about which one of them should pay for the cost of selling tickets by deciding to pass the cost on to the fans. The Mariners say they'll thank ticket buyers by giving them their own slogan, Seattle Mariner fans, you gotta screw these guys. <laughs> Washington Red Delicious Apples are losing market share because they are sometimes too mushy. Local growers are blaming the guy who delivers the apples because, quote, sometimes he sits on them. <laughs> well, a student at Idaho State University has helped develop a white bean substitute for butter in cookies that most of the Idaho taste testers couldn't tell from the real thing. However, when they used black beans, the Idaho residents expressed fear and moved to another neighborhood. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> Eastern Washington University officials have removed an aluminum and rock sculpture from the main campus because some felt it looked too much like a particular part of the male anatomy. Students have responded in protest saying that many a warm spring afternoon has been spent studying in the quiet shadow of the big metal penis. <laughs> The city of Renton plans to introduce a new slogan starting January 1st, Renton, ahead of the curve. It narrowly beat out two other slogans. Oh, that got a laugh, by the way, the, the real one. It narrowly beat out two other slogans. Renton, no, seriously. <laughs> and Renton, what happens when the dream dies? <laughs> All right, let's pick the best joke. And now... We'd like to welcome some special guests. You've probably been reading about them in the newspapers. They are perhaps the most famous two-headed brothers in the Northwest. Would you welcome, please, the Mullington Brothers? Have a seat, guys. Oh. Well, it is just nice to have you both here. Oh, thank you, John. Merry Christmas to you. All right, so then I guess the most common question you're asked is, what is it like to be two-headed brothers? We're not related. <laughs> sure we are. No, we're not. Well, how could we not be brothers? <laughs> There's got to be a way. Okay. Now, how old are you two? Well, we're very happy to be 43 years old, John. 36. <laughs> 43. I'm 36. You'll be 43 if you want. <laughs> That's my money. <laughs> okay, so you, you guys are wearing a Santa suit. All right. You caught us, John. We thought you might think it was really Santa. <laughs> Didn't we, brother? Would you quit shaking me? <laughs> well, uh, we're working down at the downtown Nordstrom's. Not we, you. Oh, come on. Let's pretend that you don't like those little kitties come up and say, hello, Santa. <laughs> are you kidding? Those children are terrified. Well, maybe if half of us could try being a little friendlier. Hey, I got a news flash for you. Santa doesn't have two heads. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about if you say you're Mrs. Claus? <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. Yeah, that's good. That'll you work know, great. Uh, I can't help but notice that uh, you guys don't seem to get along with each other real well. Oh, sure we do. That's a lot of love here. He's just putting on a little show. And you know what, John? I like his little shows. Why don't you go jump off a cliff? <laughs> well, let's think that one through. <laughs> You could use a breath mint while you're at it, too. Well, who's the one who ate all the curry just before we came on tonight? The one who paid for all the curry, that's who. Oh, maybe that's why I forgot about it, because that's not the, usually the way it happens, John. That's because the wallet, John, is located on his side of our ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a funny guy. All He's right. always on my right. Okay, we've got to wrap this up, guys. Okay, that's okay, because we've got an engagement anyway.
I, I don't have to go anywhere. Where oh, are you going? Yeah, we got a little doctor's appointment. What doctor's appointment? Oh, I think you know the one I'm referring to. We're not getting that vasectomy. Oh, yes, we are. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. I might want to have kids someday. Did you ever think of that? You seeing somebody? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Must have been sleeping. <laughs> I don't want the vasectomy. Ah, sure you do. It'll I'm be not okay. A Better to be safe than sorry. I don't want my the vasectomy. <laughs> Liquidation World in Shoreline unknowingly hired the host of the public access show Bong Hit Championship as their Santa Claus. Store managers did, uh, said it did, in hindsight, seem odd that every time a child would tell him what they wanted for Christmas, he would say, how about a bong instead? This has been The Late Report. We'll be right back.